Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode right here on 2020 Flight Simmers. If this is your first time joining us on the channel, then there's no better time than now to go down below, hit that subscribe button, tick that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button while you're down there. It really helps out the channel, and you don't want to miss any of our future videos just like this one. So in today's episode, we are going to be talking about the JP Logistics mod and the Cessna 152, but more importantly, the autopilot features. So if you want to know how to use the autopilot in the Cessna 152 JP Logistics mod, stay tuned right here on 2020 Flight Simmers. Alright everyone, so we are in the cockpit of the beautiful Cessna 152 and we're going to be talking about the autopilot today. So the first thing we need to do to get this thing up and running is to go ahead and hit that autopilot button. One of the things you're going to notice here is going to come up with the roll vertical speed if you are in a climb as we are. It is going to maintain that vertical speed for us as well as keep the plane from rolling side to side. Now the next thing we can do is set an altitude right over here on the right. We have two knobs. Our outer knob will set our altitude in thousands of feet and the inner knob will set the altitude in hundreds of feet. Oh, and by the way, there is a little barrow button right here, so make sure you go ahead and set that barometric pressure on your autopilot as well. The next thing we can do is set a heading hold here, but before we do that, we're going to come over here to our heading bug and set our heading bug to... Now all we got to do is come back over here and hit that heading button and the autopilot will now maintain the heading that we are on. If we want to go ahead and change that heading, as you see we are doing right now, what's going to happen is the plane is going to then bank towards that heading and maintain that heading for you. Now we have already set our 4,000 feet in our altitude but we haven't really set a vertical speed yet. It's still maintaining the vertical speed from when we initially entered autopilot mode, but if you want to adjust that vertical speed, all you gotta do is come over here to the up and down button and tap on those. That will set your vertical speed for you in your autopilot. The other cool thing about this autopilot, it does have approach mode, so if you're gonna fly an ILS, hey, this is already set up to do that for you. What we're gonna do here is intercept a course in, inbound to a VOR. As we get closer to our intercept course, you're gonna notice this little needle here is going to start to move to the center. As that needle starts coming into the center, we're gonna come down here and smash on that nav button. What that's gonna do is now turn the plane and maintain the course that is set in our OBS-1. Now also keep in mind that the autopilot is only going to follow your NAV1 frequency and not your NAV2 frequency, as far as I have seen so far. The other cool little thing about the JP Logistics mod right above our transponder here, we have a bunch of DME information and it shows us how far we are from the VOR or whatever frequency you have in here, as well as how many minutes you are from that. Now, while you're flying, if you decide, hey, I want to stop right at this altitude where we are, all you got to do is come over here and hit that Alt button, and it will go ahead and level off the aircraft for you. Now, as you can see, we are just about approaching our course here, so we're going to come down below here and hit on that Nav button. So now, after you have leveled off the aircraft by hitting that Alt button, and you decide, hey, I want to go up a little bit more, well, all you need to do is to go ahead and hit that Alt button one more time. It's going to activate vertical speed. You can then set that vertical speed, but the next thing that you have to do is very important is arm the altitude. So hit the arm button and that will arm your altitude function. So once we hit 4,500 feet, the plane will now level off for us. Now, as you see, if we come up here to the OBS dial and we just go ahead and turn that knob a little bit, the plane will now turn to intercept that course inbound to that VOR station. If you decide you want to go back into heading mode, all you have to do is reset your heading bug down below, go back over to your autopilot and smash on the heading button. It will now turn to whatever you have set on your heading bug. 
and vice versa if you want to go back into nav mode just go ahead and hit that nav mode now as we start approaching 4500 feet you're going to notice the plane is going to start leveling off right at 4500 feet and as well as you notice the vs has gone away so we are no longer in vertical speed mode and we are in nav mode now there's a couple more buttons that are on here and of course we have the approach the other button that we have here is the reverse button if we were to come down here and just smash on that reverse button well a couple things are going to happen you're going to see reverse mode get activated and it's also going to activate a glide slope feature but what reverse mode is going to do it is going to take us on a reverse path of which we are on right now to go back on the normal course all you have to do is come down below and hit that reverse button one more time you're also going to notice that it turned into approach and also still in glide slope so to make sure that you don't have any problems just go ahead and hit on that nav button and it will enter nav mode once again and as you see the plane is now turning to intercept our course once again so I think this just about wraps up our video today for the Cessna 152 Autopilot. If you have any questions, please go ahead and post those below. If this video really helped you out today, go down there and smash that thumbs up button. It really helps us out. And if you haven't done so already, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell. And as always, keep the blue side up. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.